good day. Welcome to our subject, Empowerment Technologies. Again, I'm your teacher, Michelle Amy W. Pareja. For this week's topic, let's talk about publishing and sustaining ICT projects. So that is our topic for this week. So publishing ICT projects. So we need to know where to upload our information communication technology projects or ICT projects. So there, there are different platforms to upload our ICT project. So here are the pub, um, different platforms we can upload our ICT projects. So we have here social media, YouTube, change.org, blogs, and CMS website. So what are the examples of this? So let's first let's have um, WordPress. WordPress is a free and open source content management system based on PHP and MyQSL programming. So that is WordPress. Next, we can also publish our ICT projects on File Manager. So File Manager um, it's an uploading tool, web interface that allows us to manage all our files. So there are many file managers present now. So the examples of these are File Manager app, Google Drive, Dropbox, and also OneDrive for Microsoft. So Google Drive is for Google and OneDrive for Microsoft and also Dropbox and File App Manager. Next. We can also publish our ICT project with website management. So, website management is a platform and it is integrated set of tools that allows teams to create, design, develop, launch, manage, administer, and monitor website content. So, now we know all about um, the places where we can um, or platforms where we can upload our ICT projects. So, now let's talk about website management. So, a web content management system or WCMC, web content management system, is a software content management system or CMS specific, uh, specifically for web content. So, it provides website authoring, collaboration, and administration tools that helps users with little knowledge of web programming language or markup language create and manage website content. So, the examples of website uh, or web management platforms are the following. So, we have here WordPress. Again, this is a free and open source content management system or CMS based on PHP and MyQSL. Now next, we have Drupal. It is a free and open source content management framework written in PHP and distributed under the GNU or General Public License. Next, we have Joomla. It is free and open source content management system for publishing web content. So Joomla is written in PHP also and uses object-oriented programming or OPP, OOP techniques, sorry, OOP rather, oriented pub programming techniques. So, object-oriented programming techniques or OOP. The next is how we can promote or the promotion and monitoring of our ICT project. So, promotion and monitoring of our, of our ICT project increase traffic and traction on our ICT project. So, there are different ways to promote our website. So, website promotion is, first, let's know what is website promotion. It is the process of increasing exposure of website to bring in visitors. So, there are various techniques such as search engine optimization or SEO and web content development are being used to increase the website traffic. So, there are ways, again, there are the tips and tricks to get more traffic and traction on our uh, website or on our ICT project. So, to get more traffic and traction, you should only not only be good in writing or designing, but also good in 
promo promotion. So here are some several ways to gain traffic. So the first one is use interactive media. So by integrating the use of interactive media to your social media, email, eh, eh, and others, um, it creates different channels and formats to gather different kinds of audience in different ways. Also, use various online tools. So, create headlines and grabs attention in email, Twitter, and Facebook posts for gathering more audiences in other networks. Next, we have to use images. So, you need to create images in Pinterest, Instagram, SlideShare, and YouTube which catch the attentions of our viewers. Next, use blogs. So, use your blogs to frequently connect with other people and build relationship and network. Next, we have here collaborate online. So, collaboration with friends, influencers, readers, and others will strengthen your network. Last but not the least is update. So, always have a fresh content and regularly update posts, news, write-ups, or images. So, let's just have our information, information checkpoint. So, give at least one way to get more traffic and traction in promoting ICT projects. So, you can write down that on our um, chat box or comment here in our uh, video lesson or in our Google Classroom. That will be um, an interaction with us. So, that is just an information checkpoint. Now, let's proceed with... Um, traction tools for validation and feedback. So, we have here different tools that we can use to validate our, and have our feedbacks about our ICT project. So, first we have here LinkedIn. So, it is a social networking site designed specifically for business community. So, the goal of the site is to allow registered member to establish and document networks of people they know and trust professionally. Next, we have here AdWords or Google AdWords. It is an advertising service by Google for business wanting to display ads on Google and it is an advertising network. Next, we have Reddit. It is an American social news aggregation, web content rating, and a discussion website. So, registered members submit content to the site such as links, text, posts, and images which are then voted up or down by other members. Next, last but not least, we have Facebook ads, which are purchase or auction basis where adverter advertisers are charged based on either clicks, impressions, or actions. So, th this, the followings are the different traction tools for validating and feedbacks of our ICT project. So, again, that is LinkedIn um, for networking. Uh, this is a social networking site uh, for business community. Next, we have AdWords or also known as Google AdWords for advertising service by Google Business. Next, Reddit, um, aggregation web content rating and also a discussion website. And last but not the least, we have Facebook ads that are purchased on an auction basis. Now, let's go to updating our content and maintaining the traffic of our information communication technology project. So, keep the content fresh and maintaining people on your website. So, we have here first, we have to update contents regularly. So, we have to add fresh new contents like write-ups, pictures, videos, infographics, blogs, news articles, and ideas regularly. So, aside from the reason that we will attract new visitors, search engines can recognize when you are being active and act accordingly by visiting your sites more often too. So, the next is update links. Of course, regularly check links to other sites to make sure that they are current 
and better if you have new links to add. So you can also utilize an RSS feed that will update subscriber each time you publish fresh content to the website. Next, the third tip is reply to inquiries. Of course, we need to be active and reply to our visitors on any inquiry, questions, or comments that they want that they may have or activity in our website that will increase more traffic and visitors. Next, we have maintaining your site. So, maintenance will ensure that our site and file directory structures are up and running properly at all times. So, all our links are functional and also we need to check any changes or additional that we make that will not affect the links and loading of images and pages. We need to make sure the email feedback portion of our site to, um, to make us aware of the problems that visitors may convey to us so that we will resolve it quickly or address it quickly. Last but not the least, we have values integration, of course. Um, we also need to integrate values or our behavior, our attitude, or in short, our values. So we, we must utilize these tools wisely in order to reach a bigger audience and maintain good competitions and other competitors. So that is our discussion. So if you have any more questions or clarifications, um, you may reach me and send me questions to my email and also to my MS Teams accounts and Facebook account and also my contact number. So, in order to also to improve our discussion. So, again, this is my email ad, my contact number, my Facebook account and MS Teams account. So, thank you very much for your time and for watching our video lesson for this week. So always remember to stay safe and happy learning to everyone.